Hello, Darlene Johnson Calloway here with another digital tutorial for you. Today we're going to be stamping out or erasing with brushes and we're going to go over the basics of creating a brush, some of the different settings that you can change on it, how you move it around, rotate your brush and all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. First let's create a brush and here we have a, a transparency image uh, from Club Scrap Digital. This is their February 2009 artifacts kit and it is a very fun image and we're going to play with it today. And um, to create a stamp from this transparency what we want to do is select the image first. So we can go up here and go select all and you can see your marching ants uh, marching around the image so it is now selected. You can also use uh, control A as a shortcut. Now that we have our image selected we're going to go edit and define brush from selection. Now you can name the brush that you've just created. We'll just keep it with what it is. And um, now when we uh, click on our brush and go down to the very bottom here you can see that we now have a brush that is in exactly the shape of our image that we just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a border image around the edges of this and we're going to kind of just slightly erase the edges of it using this brush. Now to do that we're going to create a new layer right above this and we're going to make the first off we're going to make the brush bigger and to do that you click on this downward arrow here and you can slide it over to create it bigger or smaller whatever you're working on we want it as large as size another um, tip for you is that you can use the left bracket key to make it on the fly smaller or the right bracket key to make your brush uh, larger or smaller you can also change the mode of your brush. Um, we won't be working with this, but I just wanted to let you know that you could um, do some other effects with it changing the mode. You can also change the opacity of it. So I really like to um, take my brushes down really low to create nice little subtle effects. And uh, this turns it into an airbrush, but here is the most important one. This one right here, when you click on it, it allows you to change the fade, the hue jitter, which allows you to um, uh, change the color between the foreground and background and then uh, you can change the spa spacing and scattering but this one's really important this is how you change the angle of your brush and you can just click on this little arrow head and and rotate it around and your brush will rotate around so we'll leave it um, right where it's at for right now uh, right at zero and close that up and what we're going to do since we've created our new layer we're going to just kind of uh, paste a little spot right up here that's what we'll end up erasing and now we're going to need to change the rotation so let's go ahead and just drag this down to minus 90 okay and then we're going to click uh, let's let's click down here first and then we'll click right up here and then we'll rotate our brush around again and we'll erase right down here so now that we've created this what we're going to do is we're just going to go control click on our thumbnail and when we do that we get uh, marching ants around those uh, stamped images that we just stamped so we'll turn that image off and then we will click on our photo layer and we will click delete and what that does is it deletes the edge and it's a nice subtle effect it's not quite as uh, as intense as what we got with layer one now uh, to complete the look that we're looking for with this particular layout we're going to blend this edge right here and we're just simply going to do that with our eraser and we're going to get a nice big soft round one and we're going to reduce the opacity by 30% or so and then we're just going to stroke along here and just gradually kind of fade out the edge of this so it looks like she just kind of fades right in with the fish and you just kind of want to get that little line that uh, is the edge of the photo and just kind of 
kind of softly as you brush with the uh, lighter opacity, that 33% opacity, you can um, just slowly work those edges out so that they become very subtle and, and you just really don't see them. And isn't that fun? She looks like she blends right in there with the, with the paper and the design that's in there. And then you have that nice little uh, outline of the faded edge. So it's a, it's a really fun uh, technique. Um, I hope you might have learned something about brushes. Thanks for watching. Until next time.